on Wednesday, Moscow and Kyiv agreed at talks in Paris that all parties should observe a ceasefire in the east of Ukraine. This happened reportedly after more than eight hours of discussions. A Russian troop buildup close to the border with the east of Ukraine has enhanced fears that the Kremlin is planning a military intervention in Ukraine. This comes after Moscow continues to demand NATO's troop withdrawal from Eastern Europe. An aide to French President Emmanuel Macron, speaking on condition of anonymity, stressed that the Paris talks had been about resolving the separatist fighting in eastern Ukraine since 2014, not the threat of a Russian invasion. But he said that the question was whether the Russians wanted to signal a thaw, adding that the difficult discussions had ultimately resulted in something positive. For the first time since 2019, Ukraine and Russia agreed to sign a joint statement along with France and Germany about the ongoing conflict between Ukrainian forces and separatists in the east of the country. The four nations have been working towards reaching a peace deal for eastern Ukraine since 2014 and are known collectively as the Normandy Group. The French aide said that however difficult the discussions have been since December 2019, the Normandy Group has been able to agree on several key points. He further said that the joint statement committed both sides to an unconditional respect for the ceasefire and that they would meet again in two weeks' time in Berlin. The Kremlin's envoy Dmitry Kozak said that the main outcome of the four-way talks also involving France and Germany was the agreement on keeping the ceasefire. Western countries have been concerned that Russia could use the fight along the front between Ukrainian soldiers and separatists as a pretext to invade its neighbour. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.